In this video, I'm going to show you how to make symmetrical blend shapes um, using the Edit Membership tool, which will speed up the process of making your blend shapes, especially if you have a symmetrical blend shape and you want to have a version of it for the right and left side. It's a very easy workflow to uh, get started with, and it gives you some pretty good results very quickly. So as you can see here, I have a smile. Um, that I made using the move tool with the symmetry option turned on and then I took that using a blend shape and me and put that blend shape to the other two heads and then ran them and then painted out the right and the left side to get the results that I have here so I'm going to show you this whole workflow and how I did that and then we'll attach it back to the head and you can see the results so this time I'm going to make a, a frown but I'm going to need to grab my base head so I'm grabbing my base head and you can see right now there's a skin cluster on it and I need to uh, duplicate it so control D duplicate that and then go to the channel box and take out the skin cluster lock so I'm gonna right click on it and say unlock the channels and then I'll move it and I'm gonna put this above my smile layer there we go and again, your positioning might be different than mine. Um, I know exactly where I want everything to be. And I usually put everything in a grid pattern. It's just easier to keep track. And then I'm going to take this base head, and I'm going to call this my frown. This is going to be my main frown that I'm going to make symmetrically. And then I'm going to duplicate it two more times. There we go and make this one 250 and I'm gonna call this one left and this one's gonna be right there we are so let's go over to our first frown head and make it so I'm gonna come over here and double click on my move tool so I can see some of the options for it and I'm going to come down to symmetry down at the bottom and make sure it's set to object and I'm going to right click and go to vertex and you can see right now it's working pretty good I'm just floating my cursor above it and it's kind of giving me a highlight on what it's going to select I can also hit the B key for soft select I definitely want to do that you can turn that see that's turning on and I also want to set the uh, fall off method to surface which is going to give us nice results it's not going to affect any geometry that's that much inside the head like the mouth bag or anything so I'm just going to select this and I'm going to hold the B key left mouse click hold and drag the mouse out and then so I have an area of that I'm affecting bring it down so I'm getting something initially but I don't like how it's straight so I'm going to actually go to the rotate tool and I'm going to grab this outer circle which is a rotate based off my camera position and just rotate that pretty good let's hit the W and move that in just a bit and then also realize that it's also going to tug on other parts of the face so this should come down a little bit this should be tugging down a little bit of the the nose hit the B key so it doesn't go too far this gets tugged down this gets tugged down maybe that maybe this a little bit more there we go so that's a nice expression that's uh, started I can definitely spend more time on it but I think that's good enough to get the point across alright so now let's take this and duplicate that to the other heads so I'm selecting the frown first and my target head and I go to create the formers blend shape and I'll just make a real quick blend shape there and then I'll select the frown again and select the other head and do another blend shape so I'm running two blend shapes one for each target so one for the left one for the uh, right so this what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select the right I'm gonna go to the blend shape inputs options I'm gonna go to frown and I'll click on the word frown, left mouse clicks, hold and drag in the viewport and you can see it drives that blend shape so it's looking pretty good now I want to take the one side out and only leave the other 
kind of like what I have for the smile. So I'm going to definitely come over here to the right side and paint all that out. So I'm going to select the head. I'm going to go to Edit Deformers at the top. And I want to go to Paint Set Membership Tool and Options Box. And this is going to pop over here. And it kind of looks like the Paint Weights tool when you first look at it. And what you want to do, I'm going to hit the Reset button. And I want to select the blend shape. So in here, there should be a list of things that are affecting the mesh. Blend shape should be one. And I don't want to add it. I actually want to remove it. So click the Remove button, and you get this little brush tool. And if I hit the B key and grow the, the size of the brush, and I paint, you can see I am very quickly painting away all the verts of that blend shape, the influence from that blend shape. There we go. I'm just going around making sure I'm getting everything on the right side. I don't want anything affected. And you might even want to come in inside the mouth if you have a mouth cavity and uh, paint that in a little bit. So if you had the soft selection set to volume, you might be affecting this mouth cavity a little bit uh, more. So I'm just making sure I'm dotting all my T's there. Yeah, it looks like I, I accidentally kind of painted over to the other side. So I can go to add and kind of paint that back in. So parts that I kind of went over to the side a little bit, I can always paint it in add it in by hitting add. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let's hit the go to the move tool and you can see the results exactly what I'm looking for. So let's do the same thing over to this side. Let's go to the blend shape and I can type in one two here and run it and then this side I'm going to delete. So go back to edit the formers, paint membership tool, I'm gonna select the blend shape, hit remove and do the same thing. Go inside here. No, I don't have too much on the on the mouth cavity. It's causing me problems. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Oh, right in there. There we are. There's a little bit of the corner of the mouth that was giving me a hard time. There we are. All right, that looks pretty good. So. Let's go back to the move tool. I want to double check make sure I got this corner over here really good. So I'll go back to the edit membership tool. Sometimes it sits here in the toolbar. Oh, yeah, definitely. Sorry if this gets a little crazy in here. There we go. That's much better. So sometimes you just have to go back and re-edit it. All right. So I've got the results that I want. Go to the Move tool. Now let's add these to the head. So again, I'm going to keep these right here and use these as if I ever need these two blend shapes. Um, they're there if I need to you know, embellish and make another blend shape. I'm just keeping these as reference. The other thing you might notice is right now when I select this one, these turn purple. That means that there's the blend shapes attached. If I want to attach it to the main head when, when I, with I'm all done and all that, uh, I have to select them and delete the history. So edit, delete by type, history, and now it's ready to be attached. So I'm going to select that, those four heads, select the main head, over here. I'm going to go create the formers, blend shape, but this time I'm going to go to options box. Make sure I go to reset and this time I'm, I'm going to call it facial B shape. There we go. And make sure advanced is set to deformation order 
front of chain and then I'll hit apply and you can see where that blend shape did it went in front of the skin cluster to be evaluated so it went between the tweak node and the skin cluster or it should sit and then now if I just kinda come over to the head and select the blend shape I can run the frown for the right and left and then the smile and I can run both and both will get evaluated alright so you can see how that's working pretty well So you can get both going. All right. So that's how you can do one blend shape with symmetrical symmetry on, on the move tool turned on and make your other blend shapes. And it will speed up your workflow m much, much faster when you uh, go through and start making all those different blend shapes. All right, hopefully you'll learn something. Talk to you guys later.